Hey, my thrifty friends, what is up? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Today's video, we are going over 10 fast sales over $45 in the last two weeks, which is just crazy. And I really want to highlight some of these bigger dollar sales that are selling quickly because these are items that are desirable, that people are looking for, that you should be looking when you're outsourcing. I'm also going to break down each item, why I think they sold quickly and what I would be looking for if I was outsourcing, looking for a similar item. Let's not waste any time. We're going to jump right into this. First item to sell was a pair of Lululemon Wonder Under High Rise leggings. And these were in like a pumpkin spice color. They're like the perfect kind of burnt orange look. I don't know the exact color way label, I guess, or keyword that they were using. The reason why these sold was the color. In fall, this is a very fall tone, very trendy for right now oranges, reds, browns, tan colored, dark greens, things like that. Those are all trending right now. This is a color palette that I would be looking for. I am selling my black leggings a little bit slower, but if I can find a good trendy color for a Lulu legging, I would pick them up list them high and then accept reasonable offers. Okay, let's move on to number two. So number two was a J. Crew oversized wool knit sweater. This was in an extra large and a men's size, but I did list it into the women's. I don't list very many items into the men's section just because I find men on Poshmark are a much smaller demographic than they are women's. What I did to advertise this is I rolled up the sleeves. I actually tried it on myself to make sure that it would fit proportionally and then described it very well in the listing. This sold in a couple of hours for $60, which I think is a really good value. What I would be looking for when I am out shopping for these is chunky knit wool, merino wool. They have like that fisherman style or that coastal style. And some of the keywords that I would use in this one would be coastal, wool, fisherman, knit, cabin core would be another one and making sure that I'm putting lots of keywords into the listing. Good chunky knit wool sweaters are definitely on the list for right now. Next up, number three is an Aritzia Wilfred free hush knit v-neck gray dress in a size small and this sold for $63 in two hours. Now I'm not really surprised on this item because it's a neutral tone, it's a little bit oversized, it's super fuzzy, very like fall vibes. So I think that I would be looking for more knit dresses, long sleeve, again in like neutral or darker tones. The keywords that I used for this was chenille because it definitely had a chenille texture to it. Neutral, anytime it falls into the neutral tone palette, I always tag neutral. And I put minimalist in this one because it's a very minimalist or like norm core type style. I think that these are pretty easy to find. It doesn't necessarily have to be a brand name one, but a good quality knit long sleeve dress would do good. Number four on the list is an L.L. Bean men's classic windproof fleece jacket in a size medium and this sold for $75. This is a pretty current item and it was actually being sold on the website right now, which I didn't know when I originally grabbed it. L.L. Bean is one of those brands that I don't sleep on. I always look for in the thrift store and then just kind of checking comps on them. As long as it's a trendy color, it's in really good condition, it's a better quality, like sometimes you can tell they're better quality from their lower, lower end stuff, I would probably invest in it. Keywords that I used for this jacket that I think helped sell it was Gorpcore, definitely falls into like granola, Gorpcore, hiking, outdoorsy type stuff. Hiking is another common keyword that I use. If I feel like it falls into Gorp Core or Granola Girl, I'm going to attach hiking as well and just outdoor, which is another common tag that I use on outdoor wear. Number five on this list is a pair of Merle Avian Light Ventilator Vibram sole shoes in a size nine. I had these sitting in a death pile and they sold within a day or two. This was a pretty quick sale. They sold for $60. They were a new with tags item and the reason why I feel like this is like an obvious to me is that they were generally a current style excellent quality Merle shoes that's a brand that I would be looking for as long as they're in good condition this was a pretty guaranteed sale when I sourced them keywords that I used for this or style tags would be hiking 
I put Vibram in there because there are people that are looking for Vibram sole shoes because they love them. And I put outdoor in this as well. There are other keywords. You could have done neutral because there are gray tones. You could have done granola girl, comfortable, hiking. Yeah, just lots of different ones. And I like to sometimes look into the description that the manufacturer has and try and pull out little keyword nuggets out of there too. Number six on this list is an Aritzia Wilfred wrap front gray wool cashmere skirt in a size six and it sold for $52. This item was listed for less than a day and it sold so quickly. Now, why I think this item sold is it's very on trend, it's neutral, it has a wool cashmere blend. Like these are all kind of factors that when I'm checking off the boxes, I'm like, yep, 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 this is gonna be great. Keywords that I used in this or style tags that I think also help get it in the front of the right eyes is academia. This could be light academia or dark academia, cashmere. If something has a cashmere content, even if it's only like 5%, I'm gonna put it into the style tags. And then I also tag neutral because it's just a nice gray tone, very neutral. You could do school girl, soft girl, wool. What else can you guys think of that you could put into this? Preppy could fall into it. Ballet core because it has the wrap in the front. I've been actually putting ballet core into quite a few of my listings. But yeah, I think this is kind of giving you an idea of why these items are selling, what type of keywords and style tags that you should be including into them. Number six on this list is a Lululemon Radiant Long Sleeve Heathered uh, shirt. It was an older style and it sold for $45. When I sourced it, I didn't realize how old the style was until I listed it and I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get top dollar for it. I think what really helped it was probably the style tags that I used. So I used the style tag wrap, ballet core and ballet because it has that wrap style it falls into ballet anything that has like a wrap front whether it's a top skirt pants jacket sweater i would be tagging ballet and ballet core into it it is a trend right now i just talked about it on my last trend report and i would make sure that you're including it into any listings actually if you go through all your past listings right now, things that are active, and if you have anything that would meet ballet core, I would probably add those style tags into it right now. I don't even know if I would put it in the description. I would actually change your style tags to include ballet core as one of them. You have three to use, make sure one of them is ballet core. Number seven on this list was a surprisingly quick sale. It was a vintage 80s sun ice ski jacket, a medium large. It sold for $76 in less than 24 hours. I know vintage ski jackets sell, but typically the season where they are selling is in spring. So this one to me is a little bit of a surprising one, how quickly it sold. It had a really nice colorway being the purple and teal. It was a good size because it was a medium to large. Plus you could cinch it in the waist. Uh, keywords or style tags that I used for this jacket were 80s, retro, and ski bum. I actually, ha I made that up. I don't always use just the style tags that they have as the selection, if I think a keyword or a style tag is a searchable style tag, something that I would search, I will create the style tag. And basically you just type up the style tag and hit enter or <laughs> return and it will add it as a style tag. This was a surprising sale, but not really. I think just more surprised in the season that it was that it sold that quickly. A lot of factors going for it make sure you take note of those style tags because I'm gonna be using those ones more often, especially the ski bum one. Number eight on my list was a vintage North Country black wool fisherman sweater in a size large and it sold for $50. This sold within two days. It was a really quick sale. I knew that it was going to be because it was a wool, chunky, cable knit, fisherman style. I uh, Actually being a dark tone, I don't find this very often. So I felt like it was kind of a rare find. And then it's also vintage, so people know that it's a good quality knit sweater. Keywords or style tags that I used in this one was fisherman, coastal, and gorp core, because this is like a great layering sweater, like to wear this with a big puffy, vest over top with some 
rolled up jeans and like a beanie rolled kind of with like the wide roll. I think that's a total style and people are looking for this style right now. Gorpcore is a keyword that I use often and it definitely has an impact on my sales. Someone actually commented in one of my last videos that after I did the keywords, they added Gorpcore on an item that was so slow to move and it sold within two hours. So this is a keyword that you should be adding to anything that falls into that style. If you're unsure what Gorp Core is, just do a quick Google search. I also talk about it in my trendy aesthetic videos, but yeah, I think it's just something that you should learn about and that you should know how to recognize. It is a very popular style aesthetic and people pay big bucks for it. The other one that I like to use is coastal. If I think it's like a East Coast or West Coast, like a coastal, a uh, town like fishermen, fisheries, I am tagging it because that is another keyword that people are searching. And I think coastal can be coastal. Maybe they're looking up West Coast. Maybe they're looking up coastal grandma. I think it's just a versatile style tag or keyword that you can be using. Last on this list, which was another really quick sale, doesn't surprise me because this is a brand I talk about often, and it was an Eddie Bauer Stratus Light Down Snap Pullover Jacket in a size medium. I had it listed for $145, and it sold in a bundle for $125. The two-piece bundle was the jacket and then I had a vintage grandpa knit sweater. Honestly, the biggest value for me was on that jacket. It doesn't surprise me. Eddie Bauer is a brand that you should not be sleeping on. Obviously checking comps on items, making sure it's like a trendy color, that it's a style, that it's made of quality materials. This one being downfilled, I think the blue colorway was very on trend right now. This was actually a very current style. They were still selling it on Eddie Bauer, although it was marked down and on sale, but it doesn't matter. They were still selling it on the website. So what I would look for if I was grabbing, you know, more jackets, I'm looking for that puffer style. I'm looking for downfilled, more current colorways. I don't know if blue is necessarily like a popular one, but I like the two-tone of the blue and I think that's what it had going for it. What I used for style tags in this listing was Gorpcore, Hiking, and Downfilled. And actually Downfilled isn't uh, a style tag that Poshmark has like pre-populated. So I've now started adding that as a style tag into listings that where the jacket is downfilled. And I think that's just a really desirable stuffing content for jackets. People love downfill jackets. They're super warm. They're good quality. Yeah, just lots of things going on there. Okay, so this wraps up my 10 sales. I've gone over the exact style tags, keywords that I am using in my listings and I hope they help you. If there's any style tags that you wanna add for any of these listings that you would use or that you are currently using and seeing success in, drop them in the comments. Let's hear, grow and share together. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this helps you in your reselling business in any way, give me a thumbs up, let me know. Also tap subscribe on your way out. Wishing you all many sales and I'll see you next time. Bye.